Imagine generating hot leads every single day without spending a penny on paid ads. In this video, I'm going to show you something that you can copy and paste. And I guarantee if you have an audience of at least 500 followers, you will get a few customers to raise their hand and book some sales calls. So what's up, guys? My name is Eric Anthony Klima. I'm the CEO of PT Legends, where we help online fitness coaches and personal trainers grow or scale their business using proven lead generation strategies. And in this video, like I mentioned, I'm going to give you one of the secret strategies strategies that we give our own clients. We're making 10, 20, even up to $50,000 per month. What's up legends and welcome to today's lead generation story strategy of the week. So your job is to implement this as soon as possible today or tomorrow and generate some leads. So below this video, I'm going to leave a link to these templates so you can just steal them from me and start generating the leads today. So first story is going to be starting with paint, right? So most of your content should be starting with a paint point problem that your ideal customers is, is struggling with that they can relate to and that they can resonate with. So when you think about any commercials or the best marketing out there, even when you're thinking about like the companies like Trident who create toothpaste uh, to brush your teeth, right? They're always going to start off the commercials like, hey, are you someone who is having gum disease, black and yellowing discomfort on your teeth, right? So you're like, oh yeah, that's me. I have yellow teeth. Then they're going to talk about their solution and how they can fix it, right? So you always want to start your content off with a pain point, a problem. That way there, it's calling out your avatar, right? Let me think of another example just to give you some context. Even when you think about like a Sprite commercial, they're like, are you thirsty? Do you want to serve your cravings? Or really any advertisement or marketing really calls out the pain point that their ideal customer is struggling with. Even when you think about, this might be a weird example, but tampons, right? They're going to immediately call out women. Hey, are you a woman who's, you know, struggling with X, Y, Z, right? They're not going to say, hey, are you a guy who needs to buy? You know, it wouldn't make sense, right? So with your content, with everything you want to really call out your avatar, number one. And number two is you want to call out a pain point that they're struggling with. So the best way to do that is to know your customers and know your avatar, right? So we're going to start off. And this is going to be a personal story, okay? So we're going to start off with a terrible picture of yourself, okay? And then just delete this. And you're going to put X time ago, I was struggling with this internal problem. So let's say, for example, actually, let me let me change this a little bit. All right, so I changed around a little bit. So X time ago, I was struggling with this internal problem and X, Y, Z external problem. So an internal problem is a feeling. An external problem is a look, right? So overweight, chubby, whatever it is. So for example, six years ago, I was 100 pounds overweight, struggling with a lack of confidence. I fell pain point one, pain point two, and pain point three. So right there, we're trying to resonate with our audience or our avatars, pain points that they might be struggling with, right? So I felt insecure. Number two, I felt lack of confidence. And number three, I felt like nothing in the world was working for me. Perfect example right? And that could be anything for you. So again, you want to really think about your avatar in this. What are the pain points that they were struggling with? Or just think about the pain points when you were in quote unquote hell, right? The, the hell body when you didn't feel good. Okay. Then you're going to post this story. So make sure you add a picture of yourself. Just go to uploads here and you can simply just add a picture, right? But you want to add a bad picture of yourself when you were fat, out of shape, etc. so on and so forth. Okay. So then you're going to go to your next story and we're going to dig a little bit deeper into the pain points. Again, this is story number two. So you're going to use the same exact picture or a different one of when you look terrible. And you're going to describe a little bit more in depth about some of the false beliefs that people try your your avatar or your ideal customer has tried that has not worked. So I was 40 pounds overweight and I thought I was doing everything right. I tried, for example, keto. I tried Jenny Craig and I tried cutting off carbs, for example. Right? So those are called false beliefs. And, you know, this is going to really make your, your audience and your avatar say, man, I've tried keto and it didn't work. Man, I've tried, you know, restricted dieting and that didn't work. And man, I've tried doing two hours of cardio per day and never eating carbs and that didn't work, right? So it's going to get them to be like, hmm, let me listen to what this person has to say because this is kind of kind of sounding like me, right? So think about what your avatar is struggling with. Maybe your mom, you know, I tried cutting out carbs. I tried Jenny Craig. I tried, you know, this Jenny, this booty building program and it never worked, right? We're going to post that story. So again, this is all comes down to knowing your customer, okay? And a lot of times we're talking about our own story here. So a lot of times the things that you're struggling with are the same exact things that your customer is struggling with. Next story is going to be that shift. 
it's going to be what you call a kind of like that epiphany moment or the hero's journey, right? Going from hell to heaven. Like, so this is going to be an amazing picture of you. And this is where we're going to start to shift that story, right? And remember the best store uh, marketers are storytellers and people who know their customer. So it wasn't until I found the fastest and simplest way to lose weight or gain weight or build muscle, whatever your customer wants, right? Just change that to lose weight and get toned is by insert your big idea or unique mechanism. So for example, mine was called the Greek God program. So it wasn't until I found the fastest and simplest way to lose weight and get toned is with the Greek God formula. So whatever your unique mechanism is, which, you know, one of our success coaches probably did for you, that's what you want to insert there, which would be on your sales copy blueprint. That's where you fix your offer, teach you how to communicate it, so on and so forth. So it wasn't until I found the fastest and simplest way to lose weight and get toned is by my, what's one of the ones that we have for our clients, metabolic hacking blueprint, right? That's a good example. Okay. Now on this amount of weight down. So now we're going to talk about the positive outcomes. Now on this amount of weight down, I'm 30 pounds down, positive result number two, I'm feeling more confident than ever, positive result. And then I would put an internal positive result number three. So what was another benefit or outcome due to you, you know, using this Greek God method, your unique mechanism, right? Now leaner than ever. Now, um, you know, feeling on top of the world, you know, use emotional words and triggers uh, to trigger your audience. So you're going to post that. And the next story is we're going to talk about that me mechanism a little bit and break their beliefs a little bit. So we're going to be like, there's actually a much simpler and easier way to outcome, outcome, outcome. So there's actually a much simpler and easier way to burn fat, increase your metabolism and get rid of stubborn belly fat, right? For example, or build muscle, build your glutes, right? Any positive outcome that your ideal customer wants. Okay. You could put two things here. You don't have to do three. Like it says, if you do two, then obviously just delete one. And then the next thing's going to say has everything to do with unique mechanisms. So again, we're going to say the metabolic hacking blueprint, right? Or the Greek God mechanism, right? Here's how it works. See most avatar. So your avatar is mom's dad's busy professionals, whatever it is. See most busy professional or most moms are making this key mistake. So what's a key mistake that moms are making? Limiting carbs, eating in inflammatory foods, whatever it is, right? Just keep it really short. We don't have to go like in too in depth, but you know, just put one small key mistake that your ideal customer is, is making. And what happens is consequence. So what is the consequence of them making this mistake, right? So here's an example. There's actually a much simpler, easier way to burn fat, build your metabolism and reduce inflammation. It has everything to do with my metabolic mom hack. Here's how it works. See, most moms are restricting their foods and under eating. And what happens is they lose weight just to gain more back, which ultimately means long-term consequence. So what's a long-term consequence? They gain their weight back, they quit their fitness goals, so on and so forth, right? So instead, what we do is method, right? So that's where you're gonna insert your unique mechanism again, again, which allows us to benefit. So instead, what we do is, for example, eat more food to burn fat, which allows us to sustainably lose weight for good and ultimately increase your metabolism while reducing information, for example. So you see, I'm keeping it pretty short here, not like going in depth, like, hey, if your epoch levels are X times X, you'll get this result. And we don't have to go into the scientifics. We don't want to do that. We just want to tell like the outcome. This is how this happens. This is how this happens. And the final story is going to be your before and after. So you're going to have before, after, put the weight right here, or you can just delete that. It's no big deal, but you can put the weight if you want. This is how I was able to dream outcome, lose 30 pounds, go from 170 to 140, whatever it is, right? And then here's our call to action. If you're ready to finally get in the shape you want without all the gimmicks message me ready and i'll help out boom good to go so and just to you know kind of give you guys you know these are type the type of stories i do you know pretty much at least twice per week this is like what i would call a connection storytelling type of story post you can also you know copy and paste this and put a before and after picture and put it on your feed right so talking about the same thing on your feed and your story this is specifically for stories are one of the number one ways to generate leads and telling your own story is not just going to build your brand but doing this again you're connecting with the pain points in the beginning you're talking about the benefits of using this unique thing that you have and only you have and how other people can benefit without going through all the false beliefs that they 
think they have to do to lose weight, right? So they're gonna perceive that as more valuable and they're gonna actually be attracted to your offer when you're like, hey, you don't actually have to do Jenny Craig. You don't have to restrict your carbs. You don't have to, you know, eat like a rabbit to lose weight. You don't have to show up to the gym three hours per day. You don't have to do this thing that everybody's telling you to do. Instead, there's a far more easier way to actually achieve dream outcome, which is by using my XYZ method. And hey, this is what worked for me. This is how I was able to get shredded, get lean while eating cheeseburgers, while eating pizza and without, you know, giving up great times during the summer. And hey, by the way, you know, I'm looking for people just like you. And if you're finally ready to, you know, get in the shape that you want without all the gimmicks, dude, message me ready and I'll send you all the info. So you see, I'm telling a story, right? I'm catching your attention with the pain points. I'm saying, hey, if you're struggling right here, here's, you know, I was there as well. And I felt this way. I felt this way. I felt this way. This is how your content framework and your, your marketing should go, right? Pain, problem, solution, outcome. You no, know, here's a solution to feeling like shit. Here's the outcome of the way you're going to feel when you follow this solution. And hey, if you want help installing this into your life and, and me helping you implement this into your life, message me ready and I'll send you the info. Boom. That's all marketing is, guys. And you can tell this story over and over and over every single week and change a couple words and generate leads every single week. So I hope this training helped, guys, and I'll see you on our next one. Peace.